We have some unexpected news. The Ministry of Defense of Japan has decided to refuse to cooperate with the United States on the development of a sixth-generation fighter. As a reminder, these two countries have been constantly cooperating to create the most advanced aircraft in the world. It's very strange to see that they're now ceasing cooperation, but is it really so? It's officially stated that the United States does not want to share modern technologies that Japan needs to create sixth-generation fighters. So, Japan had to ask for help from the UK and Italy, which will work on the most powerful fighter. The fact that Japan intends to develop its own fifth-generation fighter jet under the FX program became known at the end of 2020. The project envisaged the creation of a combat aircraft to replace the Mitsubishi F-2 fighters. Nothing was known about the progress of the project except that it was supposed to look like a combination of the American F-35 and F-22. However, as a result, the government decided to create a sixth-generation fighter by merging the British Tempest program with the Japanese FX project. It's supposed to be the best fighter jet in history, named Godzilla. This aircraft is described as insanely fast, maneuverable, equipped with laser weapons, and an invisibility system capable of controlling drones from a distance and attacking the enemy without human intervention. The most important part of any fighter jet is the engine, and who better than Mitsubishi to know how to make it. Despite the complexity of hypersonic engines, the engine of Godzilla copes with all the challenges. It has additional air guides that help more air to enter the combustion chamber, where it's mixed with fuel, creating jet thrust. This technology accelerates the fighter to 1990 miles per hour in basic flight mode. And yes, there's an advanced mode too. The new engine has two flight modes and is equipped with a hydrogen tank for short-term flight, speeding up to 2,500 miles per hour. The British Laser Directed Energy Program has long begun tests of the accuracy and power of new laser weapons, creating a system capable of offensive and defensive operations, ideal for a fighter jet. With Godzilla's speed and stealth capabilities, it can easily fly into enemy bases and destroy key positions. Its several levels of radar protection include a new stealth skin and a radar blocking system that emits waves preventing enemy radars from detecting the aircraft. Despite risks of hacking, the system is designed with new software for security-critical systems. The cooperation between European countries and Japan is yielding incredible results. Why did the United States refuse to participate in such a program? The head of the U.S. Defense Department expressed approval of the cooperation between London and Tokyo and intends to explore the possibility of joint development of unmanned aerial vehicles with Japan. The F-35 Lightning II, in its latest modification, is essentially a weaponized computer with a jet engine, connecting to other aircraft in the air as well as ground troops, processing thousands of pieces of information every second and destroying anything in its way. It's ahead of its time but could be further enhanced with a fusion engine, making it incredibly fast and adaptable. The current world record for speed belongs to an ion engine, offering silent operation and long endurance. But the issue remains, how to operate such engines in the atmosphere? This leads to the exploration of hydrogen engines, setting new speed and range records for the F-35. The F-35 with the new hydrogen engine could become a real flying monster, with advanced targeting systems, high-quality communication channels, and a significant weapons payload capability. With potential improvements in fusion or ionic engines, the future fighter could be the best of all time. This is still a plan, but it shows the potential of continued innovation in aviation technology. Thank you for watching you can support our channel by putting a like or comment under the video this way you motivate us to continue our work and improve the content thank you very much and see you soon.